What's included with your 30 mm cinch crank set? Left and right crank arm with spindle, crank boot set with carbon cranks only, pedal washer set, and an instruction sheet. Tools required to install your cinch crank set include a soft mallet, torque wrench with eight 16 mm hex sockets, or adjustable wrench, hex key wrenches, two, eight, 16 mm, or a race face 16 to eight hex adapter, park tools, BB cup tool, BB22 or BB32, or else the cinch system lock ring tool, park tool, poly lube 1000, or other generic bicycle grease, lint free shop rag, nitrile gloves, and safety glasses. Check the code on your 30mm cinch spindle to ensure you have the correct spindle. If you have the incorrect cinch spindle for your crank arms, contact your local race face dealer. The appropriate race face 30mm bottom bracket should be installed into your bike frame. Check the BB install instructions for proper installation procedure. Measure the installed width of your 30mm BB with all the required BB spacers used. Confirm your 30mm cinch spindle width is the correct width for your BB setup. Ensure the preload collar 2mm bolt is loose and that it is threaded to be fully flush against the inside edge of the non-drive arm. Check the drive side puller cap torque is set to 20 newton meters using your torque wrench with a 16mm hex socket. Remove the cinch lock ring from the drive side arm. It should be finger tight. If not, then use the Park BB22 or the race face cinch lock ring tool. Confirm correct clocking position for the cinch ring or spider. On a direct mount ring, look for the laser etching mark, or on a shifting ring, there'll be a bump on the chain ring inner diameter. Install your direct mount ring onto the drive side crank cinch interface. Thread cinch lock ring into the cinch interface threads. Be careful not to cross thread. Torque the cinch lock ring tool down to 40 newton meters using a torque wrench and the Park BB32 or the race face cinch lock ring tool. The other option is to use an adjustable wrench or a vise with the Park BB22. Confirm the correct clocking position for your cinch spider. The spider pocket shape will match to your drive side crank arm. Install your cinch spider onto your drive side crank cinch interface. Thread cinch lock ring into the cinch interface threads. Be careful not to cross thread. Torque the cinch lock ring tool down to 40 newton meters using a torque wrench and the Park BB32 or the race face cinch lock ring tool. The other option is to use an adjustable wrench or a vise with the Park BB22. Ensure the writing on your BB dust cap is facing outboard when installed. Slide one of the BB dust caps supplied with your BB onto the non-drive side of the spindle, all the way against the preload collar. Lightly grease the inside of the BB bearing races on both sides using your Park Polylube 1000. Wipe off excess grease with a lint-free rag. Slide the 30 mm spindle assembly completely through the non-drive side BB cup. Use a soft mallet if required to fully install spindle through both BB cups. Install the remaining BB dust cap onto the exposed spindle on the drive side with the writing facing outboard. Lightly grease the exposed drive side spindle interface. Install drive side crank arm assembly onto spindle interface. Hold the drive side crank arm perpendicular to the spindle. Be sure the non-drive and the drive side crank arms are 180 degrees separated. Turn the drive side crank bolt clockwise using an 8 mm hex wrench until the threads are engaged and the drive side crank is fully pulled onto the spindle. Torque the drive side crank bolt to 50 newton meters using a torque wrench and an 8 mm hex socket. Check the non-drive side crank bolt torque is set to 50 newton meters using a 16 mm hex socket and your torque wrench or the 8 mm hex socket and the 16 to 18 mm hex adapter with your torque wrench. Lightly tap crank set from the drive side with your soft mallet to fully seat it. You should see some exposed spindle on the non-drive side of the crank set between the BB cup and the preload collar. Turn the preload collar towards your BB cup until it preloads the whole BB assembly, covering the previously exposed spindle. Only hand tighten the preload collar in this preload position. Tighten the preload collar bolt using the 2mm hex wrench until lightly snug or the gap in the preloader collar closes. Do not over tighten. Confirm that the preload collar no longer moves by hand. Check the crank set for any side to side play. Readjust the preload collar if necessary. Install pedal washers and the pedal boots if applicable. The pedal washer should be installed under the pedal boots. With or without pedal boots, the pedal washer use is required to ensure appropriate crank set pedal performance. Fit your chain onto the crank set chain ring. 
lightly grease pedal threads. Install the pedals onto crank arms. Be sure to orient your pedals to the correct drive and non-drive side to avoid any pedal thread damage to crank or pedals. Take bike for a short test ride to be sure cranks are stable and installed correctly. And now you're ready to ride. Check this link to see these install instructions in a printable PDF format.